All right, guys, quick little break in today's vlog that hasn't even started yet, but we have new merch out. It's Yeehaw merch, guys. This is iconic, okay? Here it is. I'm wearing a size large, if you guys are wondering. Kind of wish I would have got a size medium. I might order another one, but this is the XL. Yeehaw crew. Guys, it's super lightweight, super comfy, easy to layer, great to throw on after workouts, great to wear. I went Yeehaw chic today. I'll show you guys. I put on this uh, nice gray coat that I'm not going to put on right this second, and uh, yeehaw chic, you know? So, um, if you guys want to pick any of this up, it is my I Love You So Much merch for my podcast, which is available on Amazon. So you guys can just click the link in the bio. If you guys do pick it up today, please like screenshot and post to your stories. I want to see it. I want to repost. I want to stalk you guys, but like, thank you guys so much. This is just an idea I had randomly. This is the one where in a vlog... Not too long ago, I was like, I had the best idea ever. It's so simple. This font is just couture font, which is what Chanel uses. It's just such an easy, like, simple crew, but I thought it was cute. And the perfect piece to come out with, with my nice Texas transition. But I hope you guys like it. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think and what else you guys want to see for merch. If you guys pick it up, please let me know. I love you guys so much. And thank you guys so much for just even like watching videos, listening to podcasts and stuff that I'm able to do this. But yeah, again, it's available on Amazon. Link will be down below. Again, I got a size large, which this is like super oversized. So if you wear it with like leggings and stuff, yeah. But if you're going to wear it with sweatpants and you're my size, which is like a four, maybe a six sometimes, then I would get a medium. Unless you guys want like a tight fitted look. I'm not normally like a tight fitted look kind of gal, you know? So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and let's get started. Oh, wow, good morning, everyone. This lighting is great. Good morning, everyone, from me. What? Yeah, for me and my hydro flask, that's what I was trying to say. Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. Welcome to another weekend of my life vlog. So, I'm really excited to be hanging with you guys. Um, you know, technically, like, I'm still working the next two days. You guys know the drill by now. Like, I never vlog Sundays, and then Saturday I have a bunch of church stuff too, so, like, I don't know how much of that I'll vlog. Anyways, I am currently on my way to go work out with my friend Markel. We work out, like, every single morning. Also, I really want to make a subgroup for the Facebook page with just Dallas girls so that we can all work out together because I work out with anyone who invites me, basically. Um, and now, every day, I'm like, Markel, please go. <laughs> like, literally every morning, I'm like, I'm going to this. Do you want to go to this? Or, like, if she can't get it, I'm like, okay, I can't, so we can find another one. Um, but my most of my social life, literally, is just, like, working out with people. Um, anyways, I'm listening to Mood with Lauren, um, and she has an episode on getting out of a funk, that's what I'm listening to, like, that she posted this week, and I'm like, I honestly should do that, because yesterday was, like, such a bad day for me, not gonna lie, I did vlog a little bit, and I just talked about anxiety, you guys know that I deal with anxiety, okay, well, we're driving over the street with, I wish you guys could see all the potholes right now, and this is why I got a flat a few weeks ago, or, like, last week, I don't know, I have no frame of time, but, like, literally everyone has to, like, go around it, it's so stupid. Anyways, you guys know that I definitely deal with anxiety and honestly, it's just it's just been through the roof this week. Like even it's so weird because like this whole week I was having kind of trouble breathing. Like I felt like I was breathing weirder. And then when my anxiety flared up, I was like, "Oh, that's why." So anyways, um I kind of want to do an entire solo episode on like kind of dealing with that or like what to do or like even yesterday it was like all these things that I never think like I literally am never like I'm a failure but I was like I'm a failure I haven't done anything like just like all of this like negative stuff and I was like what the heck like this is literally not me like I don't I don't know I never think like that it was just weird but it really got the best of me so anyways um we're gonna have a really great weekend now i feel better i slept it off i think um also working out helps me a lot so i'm on my way to class studios i'm going to the train class i did it last week and it's hard like it's not um it's not a joke it's like a definitely very difficult class um like while we're here i took if you guys saw my last vlog i took the solid core like reformer pilates class and i loved it it was really great. Um, it's different than Matt Pilates, obviously. It's like actually on a reformer, but I really liked that. The only reason we're not taking from them today is because 
we couldn't get in we couldn't both get in so we're going there i'm gonna stop vlogging so i can listen to malauren's podcast but hope you guys are excited to spend the weekend with me i think sydney's coming over tonight and i think we're making carbonara which is so exciting um oh also i have a very exciting meeting today i have exciting meetings today what else do i have to do um i've actually in dallas been able to like kind of block off my days for certain things like thursdays are more like meetings like i don't know i've been able to kind of like structure my schedule a little bit better than i could have in la but anyways i'm sure this is the longest clip ever love you guys subscribe if you guys are new here okay bye i got another native deodorant this is my all-time favorite deodorant not sponsored would love to work with them on a video but this is just all-time favorite and then I'm trying to be cool, so I got these hair accessories from Amazon, which I think will be so fun. My hair is just like pretty long, so I don't know how I would do that. I might try it today. I don't know, because I kind of wanted to curl my hair a little bit, but I'm really excited to try these out. I just got four. I think my hair is just like really long, so we'll see how it's working with me today and see. If not, I'll try them later this weekend. Good morning, everyone. Um, no mattress, though. My bedroom is like... I was thinking about that this morning. I'm like, excited to do it, but like I don't even... like. Think about how my bedroom's not done. But anyways, my hair looks like really not great in this clip thing. But I don't have time to curl my hair this morning. So we're going to just make it messier and messier as it goes. I need to watch like, a video of someone doing it so I can do it. But I wanted to film really quickly trying out new products. I just picked up the Milk Makeup Blur and Set Powder because I didn't have any um, setting powder. So I went to Sephora and I honestly just like saw it and I was like, oh, that's good. Normally... <laughs> Normally everything I buy is because like YouTube told me to but I've seen anyone use it I don't watch a lot of just makeup heavy videos. I mean I Milk is more I think like makeup for like the everyday girl not like the make beauty guru or anything, but wow, I'm really struggling today guys. I have um, All the outfits that I wanted to wear um, Those clothes I did my laundry at my dad's and I left them there and I didn't realize that till this morning so I just threw on my trusted Okay, so I just like don't have time to figure this out. I don't know what's wrong with me. I just threw on my um, trusted free people sweater. It's the best sweater ever. So I have it in blue too. I just don't know where that is currently. Okay, um, I'm really hungry, which has encouraged me to um, not <laughs> cook or to not curl my hair because I want to make some breakfast because I'm starving. Um, okay, so the workout this morning. That workout is really hard. It's just, I mean, like, everyone who takes it is like, no, it's just, like, really hard. So, I don't really love it, honestly. <laughs> like, I actually dread it and don't like it. But not enough to, like, not go. So, I think I'm just going to make myself go because it makes me feel like I'm, like, doing something, you know? Okay, also for podcast talk, I know I've kind of talked about this before. But, like, I also love solo podcasts and... Like, I love when, like, Lauren does solo episodes or, like, anyone does solo episodes. And I kind of want to go to from four episodes a month to six. We might have to do five first. Um, and then just add, like, two solo episodes a month. Because there's so much that I want to talk to you guys about. And since my episodes are so, for the most part, like, pre-recorded and batch recorded, they're just, like, a month or two old. So I don't feel as, like, connected with my podcast listeners. I know I do the intros real time, but even then, like, I don't know. So I would love to do, like, two current solo episodes a month but like let me know if you guys listen to the podcast what you think okay the other product that i want to actually seriously try out since i just didn't have the patience with that first one um i actually want to try like all the milk makeup i wanted to do a video i don't know if you guys would even want this but like a video trying out like entirely mel ma milk makeup why can't i speak um because like i just love the brand and i think it's cool and i haven't tried like a ton of their products but anyways this is the Dr. Pawpaw Tinted Beach Pink Balm. So you can use it. Um, I have it on my lips. So you can use it on your cheeks, lips, cosmetic finishing with a hint of tint. So I'm going to use it as blush today. I have to be honest. The A Cosmetic CC Cream just like doesn't work on my skin like it once did. That's my like number one holy grail product too. So it's a really sad time for me. But I need to find something to put on my skin that like basically is it like the least amount of makeup possible, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not, like, super, I'm, I'm more into the, like, bare, no makeup makeup look, you know? Like, kind of, like, Glossier type stuff, whatever. Um, so if you guys know any other brands besides just Glossier, because I love Glossier, but I have all their stuff. Um, one that's, like, more makeup, you know what I mean? But, like, really, like, subtle. Like, is, like, actually growling right now, so. 
There's my broken dresser in the background too. My new one came in. I just to hire someone to just put it together. I'm gonna hire someone on Handy. If you guys have never used Handy, this is not sponsored, but it's really helpful. You can get like people to come hang stuff in your house, people to put together furniture, people to run errands for you, like stand in line for you. Um, like people to clean your house, all that stuff. It's really helpful. I use it all the time. I do have a link that you guys can use, not sponsored, I still have Handy, where you get like $55 credit for it. And if you guys live in like an apartment that pretty much covers your cleaning like your cleaning will be so cheap or at least like half of it which that's like a really really cheap cleaning so you guys should use my link because that will be perfect my favorite setting spray morphe great i just like don't know what to do about this hair do i just like have too much to where it's like just not even a possibility for me to do this because i've seen people do it with my hair length but i think my hair is just like thicker i need to watch videos of people doing this and like see how they use like a hair club at this point i'm like what i don't know i'm gonna go watch an instagram video and like hope that works out for me wow guys i i watched an instagram video and i did this really quickly i just like don't know how i feel about it i think i feel good about it do i you can't tell it actually does like hold your hair in place which like, i do feel good about and i'm really lazy so i think the top i know what i did wrong but it's good enough for me today and i'm actually feeling pretty proud of myself I'm gonna try it one more time. So basically, I will, when I perfect this, I'll make an Instagram TV video. But you hold it, the bottom of your head, start twisting down, and then start twisting up to where it's like, let's see. Like once it's gotten up, okay, so at that point, woo, this is where it gets tricky. This is where I have problems, but. Then you're gonna like loop this because if your hair is short enough, obviously like that's perfect and you can just clip it But mine isn't. Alright guys, so as I was filming that tutorial, I just messed this up. I should have left it how it was at first. Um I ran out of storage. So unfortunately I have to run so this isn't happening right now, but as I perfect it I will do an IGTV video so you guys will be able to find me on there. I want a coat like this, but just a little bit Oh, you know what? I actually just got a really cute gray one from Miss Kyder. I forgot I bought that, so I'm glad that's coming in. But this sweater is just, like, too thick to wear with it. Um, I need to go downstairs and eat and put lip gloss on. That's in my purse. And get out the door because, you know what? Like, I just, like, don't know if I can wear this coat. We'll see. Okay. This is my outfit. This jacket or coat is from Boohoo. This sweater, which I'll probably, like, tuck in, is from Free People. Jeans are girlfriend denim from Revolve. Shoes are literally Walmart. Well, they're Sam Adelman, but they're from Walmart and they're like $17. Find them on my Like to Know It page. But yeah, I'm gonna have to fix my hair again, but I'm gonna go make some breakfast. Just made some avocado toast really quickly. I need to leave in five minutes. So I'm also making some coffee. This, oh, oh wow, what perfect timing. This thing takes like two minutes to brew. I love these mugs, but it gets so hot that it's actually just like terrifying. So updates to come. So, as you guys know, normally I just drink black coffee at home, but lately I've been putting in a little bit of oat from Trader Joe's. Oat milk of oat. I think, I just don't know what's wrong with you guys. I need to leave like right now. The FedEx truck is blocking my driveway, but here we go. Alright guys, um, <laughs> I'm in a really, really good mood. I am leaving the office right now. I had a really, really good meeting. I have a phone meeting later today too, um, but I'm actually heading over to Q's. He's leaving for the weekend, so we're gonna kind of just like hang today and like I'll drive him over in the morning. The meeting went really well and I'm really, really excited. I'm gonna listen to a podcast and I'm driving to Quinton's, which is 10 minutes away. Everything is 10 minutes from each other, which is the best thing ever. All right guys, I'm at Q's right now. I've given up on my hair clamp just for today because when I lay back on anything, obviously it gets ruined and when I drive, it gets ruined, but I love it when it works. I have a washer and dryer, but it's in the suburbs and I haven't paid someone to like bring it to my house yet. So we are both still doing laundry at my dad's house. So we're gonna go drop off a load for him. You yeah, know, just don't worry. Um, we're gonna go drop off a load for him and then go to Chick-fil-A for lunch and then go to Trader Joe's because tonight I'm making carbonara with Sydney. She's coming over and I'm very excited about it. But oh my gosh, guys. Okay. <sighs> I literally can't breathe. We decided, even though I tweeted about this or I posted on Instagram about this, 
I have healthy leftovers at home for lunch. We opted to go to Chick-fil-A because we're not going back to my house right now, so it just makes sense. So True. We already ate. Today's was, like my chill day. She's working today, it's not her chill day, but we're chilling together because it's my chill day. Because he had like, there's like three hours to hang today, so. Three hours, and then I'm out of town. I'm in Austin Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So she's gonna have a girls weekend. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, thank you. Three. <laughs> do you do you do three like one two three or do you do one like one two three or one two three? You really are a big thumb like. This is like German, right? This is a Euro Europeans do one two three. If you know, comment below. Anyways, I got the grilled chicken sandwich. Stay cozy. See, it's a cozy day. I got the grilled chicken sandwich to be healthy. Not not like I should have just fully committed. And then I got. Nuggets on the side, which I never do, and that's how hungry I was. I was actually being so mean. That's why I didn't vlog because I was being so mean. I'm so sorry. I was just so hungry, and someone was just taking so long <laughs> to get ready to go. She's not her when she's hungry. So, uh, I'm not. When Quentin is hungry, he is a different human being. Like, I'm sure none of you can imagine Quentin as anything other than Quentin because he's just so Quentin. <laughs> like, I'm just very the, quiet. Oh my gosh, when he's hungry. It's terrifying. Also, I think I hurt my arm earlier, but yeah, we're waiting to change the laundry. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Got like two minutes left on the clock. And then we're going to Trader Joe's and I'm getting set to make carbonara, which I'm really excited. I'm doing that tonight. And yeah, I think I want coffee now. Cause now that I have this heavy lunch, I now need to go and buy coffee because it made me tired. You know what I mean? Chick-fil-A sauce. Or is this the buffalo sauce? Chick-fil-A for sure. If you had to get rid of one and keep one, I like buffalo which would too. it be? I have for so sure, many buffalo. of those buffalo for ones for you in my kitchen. God bless. Kenzie just said Chick-fil-A sauce. Which one's better? And if you haven't, you should really try this buffalo sauce because it's my favorite. Wow. I'm a big foodie. Maybe I'll start a food vlog. So, anyways. Dallas dudes. Oh my gosh, Dallas dudes. People were really happy. Um, I got some DMs from people saying that their boyfriends were down for your Facebook group. Let's go. So. I will legit start one. No. If, a, if, if we can get like 50 guys, if we can get 50 guys who are like, I'm down to join this Facebook group, I will make a Facebook group. Okay, well, there we Just go. Just a community there of you boyfriends. Have it. <laughs> I only need to pick up a few things. We made it again to Trader Joe's. It doesn't matter where we are. We spend so much time at Trader Joe's. True. One of our fave places, guys. Okay, so here's what I'm getting. Spaghetti, um, bacon, I need more olive oil. I just got baking powder randomly because I don't know I'll end up needing it. I just wanted, or I need sea salt, um, olive oil, parmesan. I don't have a cheese grater, so like that is what we're doing right now. I see a replacement of my favorite seasoning ever. I'm listening to Keaton's intro episode to her new podcast, which is so exciting. My blinker is on, so annoying. Um, I just dropped Q off at work, so now I'm continuing. I need to go home, I have a call in like 20 minutes. And then I'm gonna get a little bit of computer work done in around seven. I think it's 4 p.m. right now. Around seven, I'm gonna start cooking. I'm making carbonara, I'm gonna make a cheese board. Sydney's coming over, she wants to watch Nashville with me. It's gonna be a girl's good girls night. I'm out of wine, so sadly we're not gonna have wine. Um, I have to take a call in like two minutes, but I came home to my rice cooker. This is the same one I have in LA. It's under $20 and it makes your life so much easier. And then this is all my stuff for tonight. Slash, I also got this. Quentin and I saw this and he's like, that actually looks really great. So I'm gonna try it after my workout tomorrow and see how I like it. What your goals are? Well, I'm good. All right, I'm watching Nashville. I just need a cheese board to eat as I um, cook dinner. Sydney is coming over. I'm gonna light a candle. My beautiful Casey Musgraves candle as always. Okay, so this is the recipe that I'm using. I tried to show you guys earlier outside of Trader Joe's. This is all you need. I'll have the recipe linked down below. Bacon, salt, olive oil, spaghetti, black pepper, um, eggs, and then you also need egg yolks, and then parmesan. I couldn't grate it because I don't have a cheese grater. All right, so I put the salt in there, let it boil, and now I have the spaghetti in there. I cut up the bacon. Um, that's two ounces of Parmesan, a fourth of this, though, you set to the side. Then that's four egg yolks and two whole eggs. Um, this is really helpful because, like, on the website, I mean, of course, it's not loading as I'm trying to show you. It actually shows you, like, short videos of what they're doing. 
which I think is really helpful. I forgot to vlog a few steps, not gonna lie. Um, the recipe is you down below. You just didn't do that. <laughs> yeah, just no. <laughs> so we got a little out of order, but now it's working out very well. We're in one of the final last steps. Um, it was pretty easy to follow, except for like one step was a little bit confusing. You know, they just made it a little more confusing than it needed to be. But yeah, here we are, guys. Good morning, everyone. Okay, so today is Friday. It's currently 6 a.m. I woke up like 20 minutes ago. I actually love waking up this early. Um, I went to bed last night at 11. A lot of people ask what time I go to bed when I wake up early, but after you just start doing it, you get so used to it. Anyways, I'm going to pick up Q right now. We're gonna go on a little really early morning date because he is leaving at like eight something for his trip and then I'm dressed because at 9.30, I'm going to a hip hop spin class. Normally, I really like to have my workouts done by like latest eight, but um, but like I really wanted to try out this class and I really care about the playlist and I trust a hip hop playlist, you know what I mean? So anyways, I'm going to pick him up right now and then I think we're just gonna go to like Starbucks or something. All right guys, we're at Starbucks now, but I got this in the mail yesterday. It's from Shiri's Truth. Um, they have a lot of studies and disguises like this, but it's really cute. Anyways, I pay $20 a month and I get a new one every month, I'm pretty sure. But look at how cute. And there's even a recipe in here. But this is literally a study. Like it's really, really cool. And a lot of them are actually like the covers are even better. So um, they look good as cocktail books. And there was an art print that came with this that I actually like, and I normally don't like that stuff, but yeah, it was really cool. All right, you guys, I'm trying a new drink. This is the new drink that I'm trying, guys. Updates to come. Mm. It's not the best thing ever. Wow, looks great, everyone. Um, <laughs> I'm trying so hard to make this lighting work. Okay, it is 9.15, I dropped Q off, um, and now I'm about to go to a hip hop spin class. I'm very excited for this. I listened to a really, really freaking good podcast this morning, but I'm going, oh my gosh. I haven't taken spin in a second and I thought it would be fun to just change it up. It's 1020, I just got out of spin. I took the hip hop Friday class from class studios. Guys, that was the best spin class I've ever taken and I'm normally the girl who's like, soul cycle is way better than every other place. Cause typically it is, but it was literally the best ever. I don't know why there's napkins right here, but it was the best class I've ever taken. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy I went. It was just like, I didn't even want it to end, but I'm heading home, we're off. My OK Assist merch got delivered. I am so excited. So these are really good friends of mine and also like they actually do have like one of my favorite podcasts, if not my fave. Um, but they collaborated with Girl Getting the Label. The quality of this is unreal. Like, that's amazing. I just, oh my gosh, I love it. So, to support your sisters, it's so cute. I'm 100% wearing this today. So I'm gonna go shower and change into this, but I just love it. It's so cute. I showered, I changed into my new favorite set. It is so comfy. Oh my gosh, I also put on a moisturizer with the self tanner for my face. I think I'm gonna film today, but like, I don't know. We will see. Um, my hair is just really wet. I'm gonna do some schoolwork and do some computer work for a while. I like love working from home in this house because I love my house and I just feel so cozy and I just like genuinely like there's, I just love being in my house. Oh, I'll show you guys the things that came with the She Reads Truth subscription. Honestly, like I did not think I would love the like She Reads Truth brand as much as I do just because typically things like that are not like necessarily like my like style if that makes sense. But like, oh my gosh, I literally love their stuff. Comes with this cute little card with like a what's inside thing. And then I normally don't love like little prints and stuff. Cause I think that they're just like a little bit too Southern for my taste, if that makes sense. Um, but I love this. Like this actually is something that I would like put in my house. I'm just so impressed. Like I really, really actually love the She Reads Truth whole brand and everything. I think it's like awesome. The dishwasher's on. I just made the weirdest combination of breakfast. So I have this so delicious coconut milk. Um, yogurt. I'm really weird about yogurts. I normally don't like them, but I love this one. Blueberry, cinnamon, honey, you mix it up. It's actually really good. Then I just have some avocado toast on the gluten-free bread from Trader Joe's. Honestly, I like the gluten-free bread better than normal bread. Very odd, and I like how it's small. Sometimes I'll make four, sometimes I do two. It's just really good. It is now currently 5 p.m., I think. I just made myself a little cheese board. I literally cannot stop eating it, and it's very weird because my skin has actually been so clear and I've been eating way more cheeks, which is very odd. 
I've actually just been sitting here all day working on my computer. I'm just gonna be honest, did not feel like filming videos or getting ready today. Like it just wasn't my vibe. So I just utilized this time to do a lot of other stuff. Um, but I have become obsessed with Ashley Graham's, I guess it's the podcast, but I watched the videos. I've watched like probably four at this point. I've just had them on in the background as I'm doing work and it's just, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. So right now I'm watching Shay Mitchell's. It's so freaking good. I'm editing a cute little Instagram video right now. Here's my beautiful, beautiful snack, and I'm gonna finish watching this just as I get some more work done. Hi guys, so since today ended up being a way more cozy, chill day where I didn't actually get ready or like leave my house and I just ended up working from home, like completely on my computer. It's now 7.20 p.m. and I have been on this couch since probably like 11 a.m. just doing a bunch of random stuff. I pretty much wrapped up everything I wanted to do for today. Besides like a little bit of homework, I think. Anyways, I'm like not even hungry because I had that cheese board. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might order food because it's my Friday night at home, but tomorrow's like a really social day. So I decided I wanted to stay home by myself. But I asked you guys for some questions on Instagram. I wanted to do a little personal Q and A so we could have some time to like kind of catch up. How are you really feeling since leaving LA? I'm gonna answer this one just cause like it's a really common asked question. Um. Honestly, like, I don't mean for this to sound harsh to, like, anyone. Like, I love the people, my friends in LA, but there's still not been one moment where I miss it. I'm honestly kind of dreading going back in April, which I'm going to have to go back all the time. But honestly, it's because I'm gone for two weeks, and just being gone for two weeks is a long time for me. Um, I really just like doing, like, a week, like, five days is, like, a good enough time for me and, like, packing all of that in. Um, I know that's not gonna be the reality of my life, but just for like right now, I'm just happy being here. But like, I'm also really excited to go back and like see all of my friends because it's fun because part of that will be Coachella, which will be really fun. Lauren just texted me, so I'm excited to see Lauren. Um, but like, there's certain people that I'm like really, really pumped to see and like hang out with and stuff that I'm like, oh, I'm actually gonna have a good time. But actually, I haven't shared this yet, but um, I have to like pack up and move my house when I get there though, which is like really honestly what's giving me anxiety about going back. So, yeah, even that house, like, honestly, like, it just turned into such a mess. Like, when I first got it, it was literally a miracle house, and I loved it, and I was obsessed with it, and then just so many things happened with the house that, like, it was just, ugh. Like, when I'm there, I don't feel good. I feel very anxious, and so I'm kind of dreading going back to that house. So when I go back and I'm, like, renting places and stuff, like, outside of that house, I'll be more excited to go back, you know? Okay, I got so many questions asking why Q and I don't live together. Neither of us would want to move in together with just someone that we're dating, which is just like a personal, it's not really like what I want. Yeah, like obviously it does have like a lot to do with our beliefs, but even if it didn't, I honestly, like I love living alone and also like you have the rest of your life to live with that person, like whoever you marry. So I personally would rather just like not live with someone until I get married. Like, I don't know, you have your house to yourself and this is like a once in a lifetime thing. Like you're gonna end up living with your spouse for your whole life, you know what I mean? Which will be great, but like, you know what I mean? Do you ever wish you stuck to a more traditional college route? I think that there were definitely times when I did kind of wish that and like I wouldn't necessarily admit it to myself. I think I think I was just so naive when I was younger that it made everything that I was doing like moving out early and moving to LA and blah 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 like really easy because I was so naive. So I was just like, yeah, sure, like I can do anything. But like also with that, it's like I was young so I had to be very confident and sure of my decision. So I didn't really give myself a second to like regret anything or to like say like oh I kind of wish because like I would never want to say that to my parents after I just like did all that you know what I mean um there were definitely times where I was like oh like I kind of wish but not that many and not enough to make me like actually really regret it by any means and like where I ended up it had to happen in the way that it happened or else I would have never ended up like where I am right now um so like I'm so glad I did what I did and like I'm so glad that ended up happening but there were times that I like Kind of missed it. For me more specifically, when I like view a normal, more traditional college experience, you have four years in between high school and like quote unquote real world if you move out right after that or honestly move back with your parents, save money, like that's so much smarter. Um, I mean, I can't speak for you, but it's like a smart decision. Um, but I didn't get that. Like it was like I was 17 living in an apartment and like that was it, you know? I mean, I was in online college. Like I was, I've always been in school. But like I didn't have the kind of like safety net of going into college and then having that I was kind of just like okay like you're already in the real world type thing Which obviously like that's hard 
But I will say that I'm glad I went to the school that I went to because I don't have any student loans. Now that I'm about to graduate college, um, and a lot of my friends are also about to graduate, like this is the year that we all graduate, and I'm hearing about all this student loan stuff, I'm just like, wow, I'm so unbelievably grateful. And the only reason I don't have loans is because my school was like really, really inexpensive. Like my first two years was like literally, it was like $2,000, like, which is like very cheap for school and like tuition, if you guys didn't know, like that's really good. Do you have a lot of friends or do you keep a small circle? Both. <laughs> um, I think I have a lot of friends. Like there's a lot of people that I could like talk to and like love and whatever, but I think I also definitely keep a small circle. But with that being said, I feel like if I'm friends with you, I'm like really close to you. So I don't really know how to answer that, but I, I feel like I know a lot of people and I like a lot of people, but I definitely have like my small circle. I think I have a lot of friends, but I also have like a tight knit circle. How do you cope when your anxiety is really bad? Um, I shared this in my last like week of my life vlog, which literally just was yesterday. So this is, I feel like posting this in like two vlogs in a row is gonna seem like really extreme, but just know like these are just two days, <laughs> you know, like I ended that vlog, started that vlog today, you know what I mean? Um, I feel like my anxiety this week has been pretty rough. Um, I've noticed the week before I start my period, I'm like really, really, really down and really, really, really emotional. Like, it's not normal. I need to go to the doctor and figure, like, it's just not normal. It's not like, oh yeah, obviously you're gonna be more emotional and stuff. Like, I just know that it's not normal. Really like that Wednesday, we had a bunch of like drama at the DMV and I came home and I just, for some reason that day, I ended up just being so anxious that I like sat on my couch, like, from like 3 p.m. on and watch Nashville and I just like shut off and I feel like I've kind of been like a little bit like I don't know I feel like I've kind of been on the verge of tears like a lot like I cried today I'm like why am I crying all the time and like it's hard for me to cry so I think that's also a problem so I like trying to make myself cry does anyone do that um but yeah like I don't know what was the question <laughs> how do you cope when you're excited so bad okay um I really like doing a cardio workout. I like working out. Working out in general really helps my anxiety. But doing something like spin this morning was really good because I feel like I'm kind of like running it out, if that makes any sense. But working out is like the biggest thing that helps me. And especially like starting my morning and getting back into my routine. I find that when I'm off my routine, I'm a lot more anxious. That's why I'm really set in my routines. Um, but yeah, just like getting back into my routine. Obviously, like my faith is a really, really big thing. So like praying, reading, whatever that might be. Um, and then like working out and just like drinking a lot of water like, like for me That's what helps me and just like getting out of the house and stuff. Um, do you find yourself comparing your success to others Not really except for when I'm like really anxious. So this week I literally was like I'm a failure I don't know what I'm doing like literally what am I doing like I'm will never do that like just like so I was it was like so negative and these are things that like I don't even say out loud or even like communicate with literally anyone which is probably bad like I need to go to therapy but I don't even say it out loud because I know that it's like a lie in my head and I know it's just coming like it's an anxious thought it's not something I actually genuinely believe so I won't even voice it because I know that it's not what I actually think and I'm just anxious but I think when my anxiety is really bad is when I kind of they'll compare myself or I'll get really down on myself or whatever. Um, but I think it's also like natural and like just, I don't know. How does living alone affect your mental health slash how do you stay in a good headspace? Um, for me living alone, I mean, I love this house way more than I like my house in LA. I love my roommates in LA. It has nothing to do with it. Like literally, actually, I actually had the best roommates. I've actually had like amazing roommates in my last house in LA, but I just, the house itself, just like brought me so much anxiety because it was just there was always problems there's always been problems it's just like maybe when i move out i'll like fill you guys in but i'm not gonna like post about it right now As someone who's really affected by my environment and my space i like having all this to myself i like having it like look how i want it to look because i work from home so like i'm really affected by environment and like the atmosphere of places so like i can completely set that so i think it's really good for me as far as like routines and working from home and stuff like that but also, I recently have become pretty introverted, which is weird for me. I like don't even, I don't know. I just, it's weird. I don't know if I'm actually introverted, if this is just a phase. I don't know. Um, but like, I will literally not leave my house. Like, Quinn's out of town and I'm like, great, not leaving my house. Sorry, I'm gone all day. But I was like, perfect. I just like don't have to leave my house. But I don't know. I'm also kind of a homebody. Like, I like spending a lot of time at home. But personally, for me, living alone is fine, especially because like, I have a boyfriend that I see all the time. My family lives down the street, like things like that. What are you watching on Netflix? I'm not watching anything on Netflix, but I am watching something on Hulu. I'm obsessed with Nashville, as you guys already know. 
um it is seriously like wow oh my gosh i love that show um I'm, i really like filming weekend on my life vlogs because i feel like i'm just like home hanging out with you guys i have needed to go to the chiropractor for like a month like i keep asking quentin to like like you know like elbow my back because i'm like this is so painful and it hurts and it's just like there's been a knot and like i can't get it in my back for like ever and it's so awful Anyways, that's probably all I'm gonna vlog for tonight, honestly, because I'm just gonna get food. I don't even know. I'm not hungry. So we'll see what I do and watch Nashville and hopefully go to bed really early since I have like a longer day tomorrow. And um, I woke up at five. Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday morning. I need to start getting ready for brunch in about probably five minutes at this point but i'm gonna do a little devo like read my daily reading pretty short i have brunch for social girls today which would be really cute so um yeah i'm going to read oh my gosh i was supposed to wake up at like seven just to have more time like not for anything in particular i didn't wake up until like 8 20 because i was sleeping with two of these wrapped around me and i was just so comfortable i couldn't even consider waking up like it just wasn't an option so yeah if you guys haven't picked up a bear fit dreams blanket like you really just gotta do it all right guys i just filmed an igtv video on this look who's proud of me not the hair just the makeup i'm drinking my coffee i need to leave in uh 17 minutes so i need to pick up my outfit and the um light in my closet is out i need to replace it which is really tragic because it takes me like years to do minuscule tasks so yeah i don't want to get ready also favorite deodorant native it's the best one you can get it on amazon too amazing see if i had a white t-shirt i would just put this on because it's so cute but i don't have a white t-shirt right now because i left it at my father's house i need to leave like pretty much now but i'm just wearing this blue blazer that i got from thread up um i think it's originally like talbots or something then that white long sleeve that i pulled it's from boohoo my normal jewelry my hoops and stuff are downstairs i haven't put those on yet um my levi's and then some white sandals from zara but like the strap will never fit my sh like my foot it's either way too small or way too big so that's kind of annoying but yeah that's what i'm wearing i need to change my purse and stuff and then head out in a second um i'm really excited all right, everyone, I'm ready, have my purse, I'm ready to go. Her makeup turned out, if you guys wanna see it, follow my Instagram where I posted an IGTV video. Who is proud of me, guys? Anyways, I need to head out right now. Morgan is texting me. Um, I'm not gonna vlog, obviously, much. I could be there until noon, or I could be there until five. I don't know what the plan is yet. So, updates to come. Good afternoon, everyone. It is later Saturday, I think it's like 5 p.m. Plan tonight. I'm gonna go shower and exfoliate, and then I'm gonna go get my nails done, which I really, really, really don't wanna do, and then I think I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's, because I need to. I should go do laundry, but I don't want to, and then I wanna watch Jessica Simpson, or read the Jessica Simpson autobiography. I have this package full of a bunch of just like random skincare that a PR company sent me, and did you guys know that Birkenstock has like skincare? And it's a really actual, it's a regenerating oil face and body. I'll definitely use this to my body. It smells really good. Like, I literally had no idea. Rose hip oil. We have an exfoliator that I'm about to use. Just a bunch of stuff. I'm just kind of going through it. We have some lip products. Very exciting stuff. Um, I just, like, literally had no idea that Birkenstock had this. Hey, guys. So, I just, like, big time exfoliated my face. So, it's probably, like, really red and crazy. So, I'm going to head off and get my nails done because they look awful listen to a podcast, and then go to Trader Joe's. Everyone, I got, so last night I ended up getting my nails done, I went to the grocery store, and then I got the Jessica Simpson autobiography, and that's how I spent my Saturday night. But while I was there, I picked up new coffee, so I'm going to try these out. If you guys know, I'm a big fan of the Trader Joe's K-Cups, because they're $5 for 12 which is absurd. Normally these are like 10 to $12, so it's really awesome. Anyways, here's my coffee guys. The Jessica Simpson autobiography is actually amazing All right guys now. I'm just gonna do my morning reading Coco here. She is wanting attention So happy Sunday like I said last night. I got my nails done 
there we go and then i went to trader joe's literally to get pizza for me and quentin to make last night and i got everything besides the pizza so i need to go back today and then i came home and i read the jessica simpson autobiography it is so good and i went to bed and here we are so today i'm actually not in church all day i go in like later this afternoon so this morning i'm gonna get breakfast with my dad and then go to his place and do some laundry do some homework and hopefully read more of the jessica oh my gosh the jessica simpson autobiography hey nope okay she's being crazy what's up all right guys i'm back home it's 1 20. i did all this laundry and i took all it's finals week for me um i actually finished this session on tuesday so i finished the session on tuesday so i took one of my finals and i finished all my assignments besides one so yeah i'm gonna go put this away and just spend the next like 30 ish minutes probably cleaning this is just like not as clean as i normally She's not as clean as I normally keep the house, you know? Just made a sandwich that's going to be a huge mess and I cleaned so much. It is so much better in here now. Um, I swept, I cleaned the counters. I'm having some issues with the cement table. Um, there's a stain, as you can see. How do I get this out? Does anyone know? Please let me know. I tried dish soap in hot water and it didn't work and I just like need it to be fixed because this cow this table is like very expensive. So if anyone knows how to fix it, please let me know. Other than that, I sweat, I clean the table. This needs to be this needs to be lowered so much I just sprayed some stuff on it, so that's why it looks crazy. It ends up looking fine. Everything else is clean. Also, I did stop at Trader Joe's to get stuff for pizza. They have this cute little section in my local Trader Joe's. Um, I got this pesto just because Q loves pesto, but pizza sauce, more cheese, pizza dough, which is so cute, and then we just have pepperoni. So this is what we're going to make tonight. I'm brewing coffee. Surprise, surprise. I am fully ready. Um, I just got ready upstairs after I did my laundry. Put that all away. I'm feeling very good. Um, the Jessica Simpson autobiography is amazing if you guys haven't picked it up you need to um i got white yesterday i don't think i explained why also my pinky it's really embarrassing um i got white because you know when they like really stress you out to pick a color super quick and they didn't even give me the right dip things they gave me like gel or something weird i don't even normally like white nails that much like it's not really my vibe but they stressed me out so bad that I was like, yeah, just white because like, you know, if you do black and white, they can't mess it up <sighs> Anyways, my top this is Zara. I just have a crop top on from boohoo my normal jewelry my Levi's and then I just have some White boots on I need white boots or like nude boots that my pants also messed up I need white boots or nude boots that don't have a black heel and I've been trying to find some online and they're like so much harder to find than I thought. I thought it would take me like two seconds and it has not taken me two seconds. So anyways, that is going to be it for this weekend of my life vlog. I'm sorry. It's been kind of long and all over the place. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I love you guys so much and I'll see you soon. Bye.